The State Department will begin reducing its staff levels at the U.S. Embassy in Kabul, and the Pentagon will send troops in to help facilitate those departures, as Taliban forces advance on more provincial capitals. There wasn't any specific event that led President Joe Biden and Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to execute the plan, Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby said Thursday afternoon, but rather the overall worsening trend in Afghanistan. There wasn't one precipitating event in the last couple of days that led the president and the secretary to make this decision. It's a confluence of events, and as I've been saying for now for several weeks, we have been watching very closely with concern the security situation on the ground and far better to be prudent about it and be responsible and watching the trends to make the best decisions you can for safety and security of our people than to wait until it's too late, Kirby said. The events in Afghanistan over the last 24 hours, with the Taliban pressuring major Afghan cities, were significant factors in the decision to go forward with the reduction in embassy staffing and the new military mission, a U.S. official told ABC News. A military analysis said the city could be isolated in 30 to 60 days and be captured in 90 days, a U.S. official told ABC News. That timeline seemed even more accelerated Thursday as the Taliban claimed Herat, Afghanistan's third-largest city, and then late Thursday when a U.S. official said that Kandahar, the country's second-largest city, was on the verge of falling or had already. The U.S. embassy in Kabul has urged Americans to evacuate Afghanistan immediately, amid fears that the capital could fall into Taliban hands in a matter of weeks. Biden held a meeting with his team Wednesday night and tasked them to come up with recommendations, according to a senior administration official. Then, at a meeting Thursday morning with Austin and National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan, the recommendations were presented to Biden and he gave the order to move forward. The official also said the president separately spoke with Secretary of State Antony Blinken Thursday morning to discuss a diplomatic strategy and that Biden continues to be engaged on this issue and is staying in close contact with his team on the situation. State Department spokesman Ned Price said the embassy in Kabul will remain open as they reduce their civilian footprint due to the evolving security situation. He added that they expect to draw down to a core diplomatic presence in Afghanistan. What this is not this is not abandonment. This is not an evacuation. This is not the wholesale withdrawal, Price said Thursday. What this is, is a reduction in the size of our civilian footprint. This is a drawdown of civilian Americans who will, in many cases, be able to perform their important functions elsewhere, whether that's in the United States or elsewhere in the region.